Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your July love reading. I want to thank you for your patience waiting. I know you guys are at the end again. I'm going to move you up to the top of the list. Uh, you know, you won't be the top because you, you won't be. But um, I'm always at the top. I'm sorry, I do these readings so I always do Taurus first. But you will be towards the top. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising uh, and Venus. This is a, a format that I am just going to use for July. I just decided to do the Julys like this. I will be going back to my old ways. Um, I, this is the second time I've done your reading tonight. Uh, the first one was was a little bit uh, heavy and I just, I, I can't share it because I got a little uh, bent out of shape with that one. So I'm not going to share it. Um, it was meant for one person in particular, and I just, it's not, it's not meant for the collective. So, I, I, it's for that one person, and if she wants to watch it, she can send me an email. So, um, this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Collective. This is for the collective. Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. This is for all Leos. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Oh, come on. Listen, I'm gonna have a talk right now. We're gonna reach we're gonna keep shuffling. This is for the collective. And maybe you guys are all going through this. This card was in the other one too, right up in the top row. So I'm hoping that you guys are not feeling emotional loss at this time, but something is definitely going on and it's heartfelt, okay? And we're gonna we're gonna pray to God that I get a different message this time. Oh, this card was in there too. It was down here though, and you see me shuffling. <sighs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that one wasn't there, so that's a good thing. Mmm, perfect. Good, 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 good. This is what I, this one wasn't there either. Yeah, none of these were, these two were there. These three were not. This one wasn't there. Hmm, perfect. Thank you, God. Excellent. All right. What happened is, is I was thinking about my friend before the other video. And so I immediately picked up that energy. So this is for the collective, which is wonderful. Okay. Past, present, future. So you guys have been going through some sort of emotional loss. This is the five of cups. You've been, you may have been feeling lost within yourself, or you could have actually had a loss in your life that has caused some pain. It's caused some hurt, maybe some regrets, maybe even some sort of rejection. Um, but that is in the past position. Whatever this was, it has brought you strength. It has given you some renewed power within yourself. It's given you some courage. Um, you're probably feeling very, very um, strong at this time. Whatever this loss was or this hurt that you were going through has brought you strength, more strength than you, you had recently, okay? And if it has allowed you to come right into your own power, this base chakra is the I am. I am strong. I am strong enough to handle this loss. I am strong enough to handle this pain. So whatever it is that you have been going through has allowed you to realize who you are, to remember who you are. So congratulations. Um, in the present, you have a new beginning. You have a new fresh start right in front of you as we speak. Either it has happened or it's happening now. It does lead to a lot of happiness and contentment as well. And it's allowing you, whatever this new beginning is, it's allowing you to communicate freely. I see um, free communication here, truthful, honest communication coming, whether it's coming out of you or coming from another person. I see that there is a, you know, I speak about who I am. I, I speak about um, what I want, you know what I mean? Because this is the I want. This is about, this is the, oh, I'm sorry, this is the solar plexus. I thought it said sacral. This is the um, I can, I can, 
I can. So I said I want for a minute. So that's a that's a message as well. Um, I am, I speak, and I can. I can speak. I can speak about who I am. I am strong enough to speak about who I am. I can do it. I can do whatever I put my mind to. I see a renewed confidence, courage, and strength here, Leo. Renewed. That leads to happiness. It leads to contentment. And I see that there is some sort of renewal here with the fertility and the hope card, which is the star card. It's like you guys are going through some sort of and this is a spiritual, this is a spiritual renewal, a spiritual journey. You guys are going through a, some sort of spiritual transformation right now. And it is, it's like an enlightenment. I've been enlightened. I, I see the truth, you know. It feels as though you guys are, are going through some sort of rebirth that is allowing you to step into your own abundance and be your own advocate. Because the Empress is her own advocate. I see a very high vibration here for some of you that are watching this. You know, it's a period of renewed hope and inspiration. And wish fulfillment is right around the corner. Because you guys, you know who you are. You have refound your strength. You have refound your courage, your focus, and your concentration. It feels as though you are able to speak up on your own behalf. And that is allowing you to to progress towards happiness. I do see a, a new spiritual journey un, unfolding for you that is very hopeful. It leads to a lot of happiness, Leo. So congratulations. I see growth, a lot of growth here. Um, for some of you, it could even be a pregnancy. If you know, if you're... If you're looking to get pregnant, it could certainly happen. But I, I do feel as though this is more internal growth. Um, I do see a lot of beauty here too, okay? With the strength card and the, and the empress, you guys are probably looking and feeling very beautiful at this time. You are probably drawing people into, into your circle, okay? Because you, they are connected, okay? When you are that, when you are projecting that much beauty, you are pulling people in. You are. You're pull, pulling people closer to you. People are coming to your aid. If they aren't, they probably will be because of your vibration. You are probably vibrating very highly at this time. Um, right in your own element as well. This is for July. Um, your self-esteem, confidence, and, and inner power is at an all-time high in July. Okay. You guys, in the past, now this is past, present, and future, past into present, ignoring the truth. Unable to accept the truth. That's what the card means. Blocking the truth. Somebody has been blocking the truth, and that has been causing some regrets. But it looks as though you have stepped back to become aware of what you were blocking. It's like you are aware. You know what you've been blocking. And it feels as though now you are starting to accept something and you're planning for the future. There's been a period of unhappiness, maybe some sort of depression, feeling sad, and a lack of emotionally fulfilled. And therefore, you had no choice but to find your strength. And accept reality about who you are. This is accepting reality, facing your fears. You've had to face your fears in some situation and speak up for yourself. That's had to happen. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm just saying. Um, there's been a lack of integrity here. Whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. And it feels like you're letting go. You're giving up on a situation. You're seeing the reality. You are seeing things clearly. I know that you are. You're giving up. You're giving up the fight. You're dealing with somebody who is very hard-headed and does not quit. Does not quit. So I feel like you're just walking away. You're giving up. I'm not sure who this person is. There's a toxic situation here. Could be Capricorn. Okay, we have Capricorn here and we have Capricorn here. I'm just saying... It could be. And then there's a toxic situation that is very, that you are tied to. You're tied to this toxic situation. <sighs> I 
and in the future, I feel as though you're, you haven't completely broken free from it, whatever it is. Oh, okay. So you guys are going to have to continue to find your strength to remove yourself from this. You have to be your own advocate. You have to be. You guys have gained strength. You know who you don't forget who you are, please. Don't forget who you are. This this devil energy is is trying to test you. It is trying to make you weak. This is a test. You will be tested again in the future. Unfortunately, your strength and willpower and courage and confidence is going to be tested in the future. This is the future. You can, I can, I can, I can, I can find my strength. I can break these bonds. I can free myself. There is hope. You are dealing with somebody who does not have your best interest in heart, at heart. And they are probably saying things that are not trustworthy. You are dealing with somebody that is dishonest and doesn't care. Doesn't care if they hurt you. I don't know if it's a partner or, or somebody. But there's some level of incompatibility here with another person that is only going to hurt you further. And they are making you weak. They think. They think that you are weak. They think that they can manipulate you. You are dealing with somebody who is manipulative and toxic. And they think that you are weak. But you are strong. You are strong. I'm here to tell you to remember who you are during this time. You are going through a rebirth. You are going through a renewal. This one is renewal and this one is renewal. And the universe is bringing you in or has brought you in or has involved you in a toxic situation so that you can find that power to be strong. They're testing your strength. Your, te te your strength is being tested by somebody who doesn't have your best interest at heart. You are mentally trapped and you're going to have to stand out state. You're going to have to step outside of your comfort zone. You're going to have to. You're not tightly bound to this devil energy. You're not. You can free yourself at any time. Let your friends help you. That card came up in the other reading as well. Something needs to end. Something needs to end. With endings bring new beginnings. And you, you are being called to take a risk. You have a new beginning waiting for you. Are you even aware? Have you taken the time to step back and become aware that you have a new beginning? Something needs to end. You need to give it up. It's not love. Whatever the situation is. Could be work. Could be partnership could be whatever it is, something it needs to end. You have a major new beginning. You guys are going through a renewal, a rebirth, a transformation that you cannot fight. It's comfortable though. And you're turning up, see the blindfold? Blindfold here, blindfold here. Turning a blind eye to the truth. About a relationship of some sort. You need to release. You need to stop resisting this ending. You need to stop resisting this ending. And go with it. Go with it. Just let it happen. Communicate. You are being given the power to communicate. Oh, five of cups twice, twice. That's emotional loss. That is regrets. 
focusing on disappointing disappointments not realizing that you have other opportunities waiting for you you have a major new beginning right in front of you that's waiting it's waiting for you to end a toxic situation and perhaps this month you take action and you release and stand up for yourself you can do it I can do it two more cards for Leo for July you need to follow your intuition and be practical somebody's not being practical hard-headed stubborn and you're being called to follow your intuition You guys have been feeling guilty. Let go of the guilt. Let go of the depression. It's making you sick. It doesn't lead to wish fulfillment. This door that needs to be closed. Nines are closure. Okay? There's a door that needs to be closed that you are keeping open that is killing you inside. It's causing a lot of stress. It's causing a lot of worry and guilt. You have that strength inside of you. Remember who you are. Remember who you are. Remember who you are. I am powerful. I am strong. So Leo, you are involved in a situation that is causing a lot of a lot of anxiety. It's causing a lot of, of hurt. It's causing a lot of sadness, depression, worry. And it doesn't lead to wish fulfillment. And you're focused on it. You won't stop focusing on it. You have the power and the strength within you to stand up for yourself. You have a major new beginning with the death card and the in the fool card. You have a major new beginning waiting for you. That leads to a lot of growth. You have a new opportunity, a rebirth, a transformation. You're going through a transformation now, and that's why all of this is happening. You're dealing with a toxic situation with that devil card in which you are allowing to control your life. Your life is being controlled by an energy that is not healthy at all. And you're focused on it. You're trying to change it and you can't change it. The only person that you can change is yourself. So anyway, Leo, I feel as though this is a month of transformation if you allow it to happen. Do I see new love coming in? No, I do not. There could be love going out, and I do apologize for that. Reality. The moon card reverses reality. Reality check. So anyway, this is what I have for July. I do truly, 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 truly apologize, but you're strong. You're gaining strength through this suffering. You are gaining strength through this suffering. And you can do this and speak up for yourself. You can. You can. Talk to you later.